What was a huge trend everyone forgot about? Cut stacking. What was that all about? Cell phones that work like walkie talkies. This functionality is in an app now. We have them at work. It sucks compared to the old hard button on the Nextel phones. But it works. I think it was between 2010 and 2012 where there was a weird obsession with bacon. A weird obsession with mustaches. Keep calm and. And you can't forget epic fail too. I know it makes lots of people cringe. And rightfully so. But boy does thinking of that period make me nostalgic for middle school. Simpler times. Edit. No need to tell me how old you feel for the dozenth time lol. Yo Yosu was that moth earthka that came to my school? And why did he do a sales pitch for Yo Yos? And why did so many of us buy them? IDK if this is just where I live but those bracelets that you made with rubber bands on that loom thingy. Fucking rainbow looms. The store I worked in carried them for like a year before they moved on to the next fad. And we'd still get parents years later who picked up a cheap one at a garage sale because they remembered them being popular desperately searching for these rubber bands that no one carries anymore. Flash mobs. I miss the awkwardness of school teachers and office managers to entice others to join. My boss made us do this one year. As a kind of bucket list for herself before she retired. I had scheduled a day off since it was my birthday so I was hoping I had a gracious out to skip it. Instead. She told me if I came for the flash mob I'd get the rest of the day off with pay and I wouldn't have to use a vacation day. It was exactly as awkward as I expected but the 20 minutes was worth it for 8 hours pay. LMFAO. LMFAO may be a total train wreck of a music group. But they were also everywhere in 2011 to 2013. You couldn't turn on the radio without hearing I'm sexy and I know IT. Played 5 times in the span of 30 minutes. And party rockers in the house tonight. Was a line scream sung at any nightclub. I'll never forget the summer Pokemon Go came out. Everybody and their grandparents were playing it. All the parks were full of people just talking and meeting each other. I hate to sound boom away but it made me remember what life was like before smartphones. Which is ironic I guess because an app made it happen. I wish more technology had the goal of getting people active and outside and interacting with others. Fun fact. In the 1920s. There was a brief but intense fad in the US where people would try to put clothes on raccoons, usually after some fortification at the local speakeasy. Participants would make suits and dresses. Or repopose baby clothes. And sneak up on a raccoon to try and put the clothes on it. Success rates were low. But in 2025 and 26 it wasn't uncommon to come across a raccoon with a bonnet or boaty. Those shoes with the wheels in them. Heelys? My elementary school banned Heelys because some kid tried to Heely down some stairs and broke his arm. Furbies. Absolutely needed to have one and when it woke up in the middle of the night I was over it. So I finally get to tell this story. I had a Furby as a kid. The thing learned my name. You also could not turn them off so it would randomly talk throughout the day and night. Its batteries started to die so it sounded weird to say the least. So one night. At 3 a.m. I'm about 7 years old. I hear. In this demonic sounding voice from my closest. Say my fking name. The Furby was evicted from my room after that. Pet rocks. I have been breeding them for years. Edit. Thanks for awards. And thanks for so many awesome responses. Colon. Close bracket. Painful memories. My pet rock ended up breaking a window and had to be euthanized. I still have a box of his sand on my mantle with his picture above it. Game of Thrones. Never seen something go straight from the forefront of pop culture to forgotten about so quickly. Never forgotten. The writers killed all possibilities for the show being cemented as the gold standard of shows. Unless of course you talk about creating the gold standard of how to ruin a show that could have been the gold standard of shows. Gangnam Style. Good god don't make me remember that Lomeo. For about a year I actually tried to learn Korean because of that song. 
the power balance bracelets. Edit. Thanks guys this is the first time I get this many upvotes. Also I have seen Danny's video lol. Clown craze in 2016. To this day. I still sometimes watch YouTube videos of those clowns. Especially the clowns hunting videos at night. Edit. Thanks for the upvotes everyone. Never had a comment blow up like this before. Edit number 2. My first award. Thanks for the award kind stranger. Edit number 3. Thanks for the silvers kind strangers. Have an awesome night everyone. 1. When I was a teen in the late mid to late 90s. The WWJD bracelets were everywhere. And I would see WWJD merch all over the place. Even WWJD board games. 2. People don't remember how huge Maxim magazine was back in the day. Like from 1999 to 2002 it was universally loved by young men. Butterfly clips. Hypercolor clothing. I was a huge nerd in elementary school and thought I was gonna be super cool when my mom bought me an off-brand hypercolor shirt. Wore it to school and one of the kids who bullied me realized it would change color if he spit on it. Then showed lots of other people. It was the worst day of my elementary school life. Fidget spinners. That trend went real fast. And my store had decided to start selling fidget spinners. Changed the name to widget spinners. Real late to the party so by the time we got them the trend was already dying so our store still has a few cases of fidget spinners collecting dust in our store. Back in the 90s there was a hip hop duo called Criss Cross that got an entire generation of middle schoolers to wear fire baggy jeans backwards for like a year. Good times. Edited. Because I was like 7 when it happened and didn't remember how to spell name. Mannequin challenge. That was very weird to be fair. Just a reminder of huge trends that haven't died. Pokemon. 898 Pokemon. 64 games. 8 generations 24 seasons of TV. 23 movies. 9000 plus cards. Power Rangers. 26 seasons. 205 Rangers. 8 games. The Simpsons. 30 seasons. 1 movie. 8 games. TMNT. 15th show. 7 movies. 4 games. Scooby Doo. 9th show. 47th movie. 7 games. One Piece. Eternal. I'm kinda dating myself here. But. When I was younger. I can't remember if I was a preteen or if I was a teenager. The Budweezer are frogs. Everyone was going around saying bud. Someone else would say wise and someone else would say uh. I even had a couple different shirts with them on it lol. Beyblades. Ha. Huh. My oldest, he's 18 now, was obsessed with those damn things. He even attended a Beyblade themed birthday party for one of his friends. Rage Comics. In 2011. 90% of my reddit feed was Rage Comics. Now you never see them. Second Life. The virtual reality game. Or whatever it was. There was a time when every self-respecting global company just had to have a place there. When people paid real money for its virtual real estate. And then it died and went away. Or did it? Don't actually know. Haven't heard about it in a long time. Maybe it was replaced by Minecraft. Semicolon. Close bracket. Minecraft parodies. Eventually people just stopped taking them seriously. I don't hate mine diamonds to be honest. However I do have creeper or man or whatever it was called stuck in my head for several years. That one weird summer of 2016 where clowns randomly appeared out of nowhere and creeped us all out. You all remember Beanie Babies? My mother just gave my 6 year old some. No clue on earth where she got them from. I looked every single one up. $20 total for about 7 of the little fucks. LMFAO party rock anthem their shuffling dance. Wearing your clothes back to front because of crisscross. cross. Walking around with a stereo on your shoulder making you the coolest cat around. The bright colored tracksuits like Will Smith used to wear in his old rap videos. Pegas. 
the little palm-sized compressed expandable t-shirts and cloths you used to buy and put in a bathtub so they'd swell up to their full use from Disney and other places. Little lights that used to be plugged into your Game Boy before backlight screens were a thing. Our school had FX bracelets. It was an epidemic apparently. They were different color silicone bracelets like the Liverstrong ones. The goal was to collect them all. Each color represented different acts. Brown for butt stuff. Red for red stuff. Blue for blow jobs. Yellow for hand jobs. Times were good. Marbles. Planking. OMG I still remember when I asked my dad to take a photo of me planking on the edge of some sort of fountain in the middle of a city's tourist district with loads of people around us. Dubstep. 2011 to 2014 was a wild time. Yik yak. Holy shit. This is the correct answer. Everyone at my school was obsessed with yik yak my freshman year of college. It felt like it died overnight though. Choking your friends out it was really weird. We did it in the late 80s. But it wasn't really choking out. Basically. The person would sit down and put their head between their legs. And hyperventilate. After a bit. They'd sit up. Another person would use the palm of their hands to push on the sides of their necks. And they'd sort of pass out or act very weird. Don't do this. It can kill you. Talking about how Lady Gaga had a penis. For us it was Marilyn Manson having a rib removed so he could suck his own DCK lol. Prepubescent boys will never change. That time Logan Paul found a dead body in the suicide forest and decided to still partially film it and got backlashed for doing so. Cost him that lucrative Disney contract. And he got permabanned from Japan because of it. You. Do. Not. Disrespect. The. Dead. In. Japan. Ever. Tide rolling our jeans. Oh yeah. I was a tall girl and had the longest legs. They make women's jeans long enough now, 35 inches in seam, but back then? I was high watering. Then tight rolling came along and I could fake not being able to buy long enough pants. That along with cutting off your jeans right above your knees. I could buy second hand jeans for a dollar, used pants never come in long. Cut them off. And suddenly I was cool. Riding your skateboard while drinking cranberry juice with dreams by Fleetwood Mac in the background. Maroon 5 making music that didn't suck. Kids used to bring warheads to school and dare each other with them. Seemed like you could never find them to buy them. I think they were all brought in by rich kid parents with bulk memberships. After warheads died. Kids were bringing lemon and lime salt shaker for margaritas to just eat the shit. I'm glad only became fixated on the Gatorade vodka and pot fads. Pogs or crazy bones. Were around so much in the 90s. Early 2000s. But just disappeared into the nothingness. Vsco girls. I only remember that trend being big for like about a month and then all of a sudden everyone forgot about it and I've never heard of it since. News has gone from being news to a twisted form of entertainment. It's not just the facts. It's drama and tragedy meant to get people's emotions involved and bring them back wanting more. It's as if they hire writers from shows like Breaking Bad instead of journalists to see how they can twist the news of the day into something that will keep people coming back for the next episode. 90s kid here. Tamagotchi Pokemon cards why you go. Cards extremely noisy workout pants just a general sense of collecting trading things football and baseball cards the good cartoons on Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network. No one ever talks about little girls wearing jelly shoes in the 80s and early 90s. When I was a kid. Every little girl's dress up shoes were jellies and they all wore them to church. Even though they hurt. Only one movie I've ever seen has included jelly shoes. The Avatar movie by James Cameron. This thing was the highest grossing movie at the time it was released. And it basically had no impact on modern culture. Sometimes people will remember it to clarify between it and the kids show. But it's basically forgotten by everyone. Double knit polyester. Hostess skirts. Plick homes. 
bell bottoms. Shirts open to the navel with 10-15 gold neck chains. Side ponytails on grown women. Platform shoes on grown men. Now. You kids get off my lawn. Lawn darts. Murder clowns. Like. Two months of clowns attacking people with deadly weapons. And nothing was done about IT and IT just went away. Silly bands. Those rubber bands that came in different shapes. They were everywhere and suddenly. They disappeared. 